All right, in this video we are going to explore the insertion sort algorithm for sorting an array of numbers. And with insertion sort what we do is we actually don't start at position 0 but at position 1 and we're always going to compare with all the values that came before and we're going to place whatever's at position 1 correctly with what came before it. And then we'll go to position 2 and make sure it's positioned correctly with everything that came before it and we keep going through all the way until we are at the end. So let's try this out with a group of numbers. So here we are with our list of numbers, not sorted yet, and you'll notice that the index right now is at position 1. And what this number 9 is going to do is it's going to look with the number that came right before it, and it's going to compare itself to 3 and say, hey, I'm bigger than 3. I'm in the right position. And so we're going to move over to 6. Notice that 3 and 9 are in order, but the rest is not. Now 6 is going to look at 9 and say, hey, I'm smaller than you, so it's going to move the 9 over here, and then it's going to compare itself with 3 and say, oh, you're not um, any smaller than me, so it just pops right in there. And now 3, 6, 9 are all sorted, and so we can go to the next number. So we take the number 1, and it looks at 9 and says, wait, I'm smaller than you, so move over. And it compares itself with 6 and says, I'm smaller than you, so move over. And it compares itself with 3. It's smaller than 3, so it tells 3 to move over. And since there's no one left to compare it to, 1 will simply go into that first location. Now 1, 3, 6, 9 is all sorted, and we're ready to move on to the next number, 2. And 2 compares itself with 9 and says to 9, move on over. It compares itself to 6, and it says move on over. It compares itself to 3, it says move on over. It compares itself with 1, and says, oh, I guess I found my location, and it goes right in there. And we can see how this is going to work right to the end. 5 will be the next one, and it's going to tell 9 to move over, and it's going to tell 6 to move over. But as soon as it encounters 3, it'll realize that it is found where it belongs. And then our last one, number 8. 8 is going to look to 9 and say, yeah, I'm smaller than you. But as soon as it looks at 6, it's going to realize that this is where it be belongs. And now we have just demonstrated the use of insertion sort.